Today I'm going to go over my favorite YouTubers who follow regarding the Django framework. I wanted to make this video just to thank these guys for providing the content that took me from knowing nothing to eventually landing my first job as a full stack developer and to point anybody just starting out in the right direction. Okay, so the first channel I wanted to go over is the new Boston. Uh, this was actually the first channel that I followed a tutorial series with and I found it super informative. Um, everything is very well put together. Uh, Bucky Roberts just clips up every single topic in its own five to 10 minute video, which makes it insanely easy to follow. I absolutely loved it and really got my kickstart here. Uh, the one thing about this channel is I don't think they've produced a video in at least two years. So some of the content may be outdated, but definitely still relevant and it would still recommend it to any beginner. So next on the list, we have Traversy Media. Uh, I originally stumbled into this when I was trying to implement React into my Django project. Uh, from there, I just saw a ton of good content and kept this in my back pocket throughout the whole process. Um, really covers a full stack here outside of Django. It goes from Node.js to front-end development to anything you can imagine, really. Um, there's always fresh content. Brad's always picking apart a new framework. It's always fun for me to check up and see what's going on here. So anytime something gets a little outdated, Brad seems to update that. So I love that about it. Um, definitely a good one to go with. This next channel is actually a personal favorite of mine. I, uh, again, love the, the very short, well put together series. And one thing you'll notice right away as you get on this channel here, uh, you're going to notice there's always a theme with every series that comes out that makes everything super easy to follow. And uh, Sean's clearly into, into making things visual for you. And you can see that in his tutorials. Um, outside of the cool accent, I love the fact that he's, he's into the graphics because so am I. I. I love to see stuff like this. Definitely a go-to for me. I actually started following Sendex when I first got into Python and was picking that up. He had a, a tutorial series on data visualization that was interesting to me at the time. Um, I believe he's a lot more into artificial intelligence now and machine learning, has a, a couple of good videos on that. But on his website, I did stumble, stumble into a, a Django series. He was uh, kind of going through the difference, differences between Flask and Django and this tutorial series was uh, it was definitely a good good one and easy to follow for beginners and I don't know how updated it is I, I it looks pretty modern to me, but uh, Yeah, definitely a good one. I'd recommend too I'm gonna deviate a little bit from the original path and actually pull up a, a blog that would always uh, Seem to come up in the Google search results every time I had a question It got to the point to where it seemed like any question I had regarding Django there was an answer here from, from this blog, simple is better than complex. Uh, I've never actually seen the YouTube channel. I know there's one that goes with it right here. I've never seen a, a video from here. I just always ran into this and it got to the point to where anytime I had a question regarding Django, I would actually type in simple is better than complex just to see if, if, if there was an answer from here because I really liked the way everything was written out here. I found coding for entrepreneurs when I was trying to get my site onto Heroku and then later uh, trying to build out my REST API. I found them through their blog and then quickly realized that they have a YouTube channel that goes hand in hand. In fact, a lot of their, uh, a lot of their blog posts have a video that goes along with it. I love that. It's very easy to, to go along with something like that. Um, I took a couple of their paid courses. They do have free, plenty of free ones, uh, definitely some paid ones. And I, the reason why I like the paid ones was that they're very project based. So you're actually building along an application through modules and uh, going kind of step by step rather than just watching a bunch of videos, trying to build something out. You're following a, a really informative guided course. Last on the list, we have Corey Schaefer. Corey was one of those that I found very early on when I was just studying Python. Um, by far the best teacher online I have, I have seen uh, explains everything so well so easy to follow um, just by looking through what people say about him I think a lot of people would agree with this and the reason why he makes a list I've actually never seen his Django series but he's had that big of an impact on me to where I can easily vouch for that and say you need to watch his Django series if you're new to this because 
uh, it's going to be good. I can definitely trust that. Um, that's all I have for, for this list. And just thank you guys for watching. And I hope this can be helpful.